Okay, I think we are about ready, more or less. Our phone's going, laptop's going. Volume's off. <coughs> All right. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and get this started. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Make a backup save. Um, just in case. Let's go ahead and start chapter 16. This was a fierce battle like no other, but their homeland of Altea has been liberated. All that remains is the castle. If I could regain Altea Castle, where I was born. Everybody, thank you. I really must thank you all for placing your trust in me. Before Mars face up, uh. Before Mouth Mark's face floats shimmering tears. Even the girl, who gently wiped his tears away, couldn't prevent her own tears. Which girl? <laughs> Is it Sheeta? Which girl uh, wiped Mark's tears away? We're not gonna get an answer. Altia Castle. Checking one thing. Yeah, we're fine. So. Oh, yeah, we've had this chapter before. Look at all the treasures. Look at all those treasures. And this time, got the door there. Okay, so. Got some thieves. Nothing too special. A bunch of heroes. This is gonna need Agnes to work. Oh, there's Astrum. There's Astrum. Armor Slayer. Can we talk to Astrum now? Is that something I could do? Alright. So, I don't need Drog anymore. I could take Tiki. I, 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 uh, okay, we need you. So, let's bench Katria, I think. Let's bring Julian. Let's bench, um, I gotta bench one more person if I want Tiki. Or do I keep everyone? Honestly, I don't need Tiki. I don't need her. Yeah, I don't need Tiki. Tiki was just kind of here to help out. But in cases like this, where I want, I still want to train these four. I think we'll keep Tiki back here just in case. If I feel like I need her, I'll bench probably one of these two. One of these three. I'll keep them. Alright. Let me go through my items very quick. Uh, we want the warp hammer. Yeah, I still want to repair Aura. Ryan's good. Lynn's fine. Agma's fine. Oh, wait. Do you... Yeah, you do have thunder. Okay, we'll get that. Warren has the Orion's Bolt, Sheeta has the Dragon's Whip, Navar has the Hero's Crest, Fina's here, Julian's here with the VIP card, Cecile is here, and Rhodey has the Knight's Crest. I think we're fine. The real question is, who talks to Astra? 
Okay. What's going on? Even thieves have managed to find their way in. Could the Geosphere have been taken by them? Your Highness, a suspicious thief is escaping towards the north. We should send somebody in to pursue it, but to pursue before it's too late. Hmm. But well, we can't use horses or Pegasi inside, so what should we do? Wait, this thief? Ah, I didn't catch that one. Well, who has more movement? Okay, everywhere around here is, uh... It is no movement. I would need someone with seven or eight movement to catch up. Or I ward. Melissa? I guess I'm Melissa. I could do that. Let's do this. The question is, someone needs to talk to Astro. But... Who should, uh... What's my attack speed? Sorry. Oh yeah, I'm fine. If someone needs to talk to Astrum, uh, who is it? Is it Marth? Because I can warp Marth. Geosphere. Alright, we got the Geosphere. That could go, and it's cracked too. That'll go in supply. So for now, we really need to worry about all of this. Sadly, Novar is not close enough. Um, I'm sure we need six. Yeah, you can't catch up. If I want to get rid of this thief now, I basically need to do this. Can Mark make it? Yeah. Okay, we'll give it. To Mark. I can block the thieves. If I get someone here or here, I can block the thieves because they're all going to the chest. At the moment, let's just get Agma over here. Everyone's basically gonna head over here. If I could get like one kill over here, that'd be great for some of my units. And Julian is up here. All right, let's see how this goes. The heroes are on the move. try to feed my other units some of these kills, if possible. Oh, Marth, you are one square away. Okay. 
So, if I want some of these units to... Okay, hold on a minute. We're gonna have Aqua go right here. You back out. I'm gonna let Warren go right ahead and stand here. We'll equip... Let's just start with the... Come on, what's your attack speed? 11? Okay, no matter what I do, Warren cannot double. 29, 24. Yeah, we'll keep the silver. Alright. I'll let Mark move down here. I don't want to warp him just yet. Let's go ahead and see how this goes. Magma is definitely going to get some EXP out of this. Magma's a monster. What do we got? Level 4 HP. Well, that's pretty much what you're mostly going to get now. do anything. They would have to get a crit, and even then, that's nine damage. Oh. Oh, how unlucky for you. A dodge and then a, a crit back. Level five. We got a little bit of luck. More uh, avoid for... Uh, uh, crits. Oh no, 10 damage. Ah, oh, you can attack it. Well then. That is just an unlucky... An unlucky crit. That was stupid. Oh, here we go. Okay. I could have someone ready to go. I want some units too close. Okay. So what is this, uh, turn... This is turn three. So at the end of turn two, this start this opens up. We got Willow here with a meteor spell. Fortify, swarm, swarm, physic. If 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 this chapter is anything like in book one, there'll be reinforcements on this side. So, what I could do instead, I could set, uh, like, Warren here instead. Or I could set, uh, Ryan there. It's Ryan's... I could set Ryan here. That way he deals with the mages. And maybe the sniper, maybe that's too many enemies? But that is an idea. I'll probably still let Warren try this out. I think that was just an unlucky crit. Uh, but we may have... Uh, actually, while I'm here, let me take a look. If I attack with the steel, attack of 23. So 13, not enough to KO. Yeah, not enough to KO. I would need something stronger.
Wait, uh, hold on. Equip the Master Sword. That's a... That's a Might of 12. Hold on. We're gonna look things up real quick. Might of 8. So, f an extra 4 damage? If I went here with an extra 4 damage, that would be 27. 17. With my attack speed of 60. You know what? Navar with the Master Sword would be able to do this. To do to fight this guy. Attack of 21. Minus 8. I wouldn't want to fight too many enemies. Before we go ahead and reset. Wait, which, which one's Astra? Is it this guy? Let's go ahead and see if this works. I want to see what happens. It's kind of a scouting run at this point. Nice, skill and luck. No, we don't talk to Astra. Not with Marth, anyway. I just thought it was simple, too. Uh, you have no resistance. Only on your Pegasus, huh? Okay. Let's go ahead and reset. Okay, so... Marth does not talk to Astra. Oh, the shield is now being filled out once... With the more spheres that we get. I guess that's the star and the life sphere. Okay. I remember when we were in book one, all those spheres were filled out. I remember that. Okay. If someone needs to talk to Astrum, it is not Marth. We do not have the unit that talked to him last game in book one. We haven't even run into that character. So, I don't know how we're supposed to talk to Astro. Also, I might put Melissa down here so we can get to the thief right away. Um, actually, I will do that. Maybe there might be a better spot, but I'm going to do that. Alright. So, Warping Marth is not the answer. If we need to talk to him with anyone, who would it be? I forget what the villagers say. You know what I could do is I could just spend time warping around some units that I think would talk to him and see if they talk. Eh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Oh, you still can't make it. One, two... Well, I can set you here, and I still need to dance. So no matter which way I handled it, it I didn't have enough movement. No matter what, if I want to get him now, I have to dance. storage. Okay. I'm gonna have Mark go ahead and attack. Oh, right! I was gonna give Navar 
the Master Sword. That's right. He could get, he could get some kills with that. At this point, I want to get like people just out of range of Castro and see who can talk to him. Unless this is a case where we're supposed to keep him alive, but I don't know how we're supposed to do that. I honestly have no clue how we're supposed to do that. Oh, now that ogma has been moved, he won't be in range of the first one. But that's okay. sword with the iron, I guess. Yeah, that will be fine. Uh, let me go ahead and do that. Okay. Warren, I'm gonna have you go over here again. Again, that was probably just an unlucky crit. Let's go ahead and put the Actually, let's keep the killer, because uh, that sniper is going to be dangerous. Julian could just head up here. And then I think... Uh, we'll try to have Rhodey and Cecile get the other kills. Cheetah will... I don't know. Something like this. I just have no clue who can fight or who can talk to Astro. So far, there has been no character. I forget what the problem is. I forgot what the villagers said in the last chapter. And as far as I can tell, we cannot get into this room right now. Even if Marth were to stand there. I want... Yeah, I want Augment to stand here. Make sure he has the steel equipped. Is one of the ones with Leaven Sword close by? Yes. That was probably just an unlucky crit. He has an attack speed of 9. No matter what I do, he will be able to double me. So let's at least deal a lot of damage. Mark will bring down here. I'm just trying to think who would want to talk to Astro. Let's just sit here. Alright. Magma's got this. If I wanted to. Oh, here's an idea. I can let Ogma with the Iron Sword, he'll weaken the heroes, and that gives enough... That lowers it to just enough damage to let, uh... Warren get a card, if he wanted to. That's an idea. We got a little bit of luck. Actually, that is a good idea. That will weaken enough for Warren. Oh, okay, okay. 
If I fail, I uh, I know what I can do. I'm prob I I'm thinking of giving maybe uh, Sheeta the Leaven Sword. Strength and HP. Okay. Okay. Attack Warren. It was the second hit that got the crit. Alright. Level 18, strength, skill, luck. That's good. He needed speed as well, but it worked out anyway. As soon as the first chest gets open, that door opens up. Or is it just at this turn? I don't know. Oh, of course that guy gets healed. So, Ryan should be able to deal with the mages and hopefully the sniper. The sniper is the bigger threat. Okay. Come on, Ryan. You could survive all this. Seven damage. I have the killer bow for when the sniper starts attacking. But maybe Ryan's going to take too much damage. Okay, good. As long as we dodge a bit. Okay. How's it going? It's going fine. Uh, we already died once. Warren got hit by an unlucky crit. Uh, I, I'm not sure if I would say this chapter is tricky. What's tricky is that uh, Astrum is here, and there's got a, there is a way to re uh, there's a way to recruit him. Probably rigged. Yeah, it definitely was rigged. Oh, <laughs> so Ryan. That dodge saved your life. Dodging one mage saved your life. Speed defense. Did speed go up by two? No, no one. I okay. Yeah, it definitely was rigged. I'll say that. So what did you find? A speed ring? Okay. Uh, there was a thief down here that had a geo had the geosphere, so we had to go and make sure to grab that. I had uh, Melissa go and do that. You need healing, and now we need someone to. We need to start going after these guys. I could have Marth help out. I may do that. Oh, I gotta be careful. If someone stands here, they'll get attacked by Hellfire. Hmm, what to do? So, what's going on in your end, Aqua? Uh, you're fully healed. Aqua's fine. You know what? I am going to attack with the Iron Sword. Weekend. You've been stuck on the DLC boss in Dark Souls 3. Not because of damage, but you're generally lacking in skill. Oh no. The answer is get good. Don't you hate when that's the answer? Just let Navar with the Master Sword attack, I guess. There we go. Man, it's a 50% chance to crit with the Master Sword. I knew it. I've been saving it. So... 
If I want Agma save, oh no, if I want 34 against mercenaries. But guess who's not a mercenary? <laughs> where's, where's Fina? Oh. So it sucks that Dark Souls Theory has a weird parry punish. You can still receive damage even if you parry the enemy. You can hit the same time. That's kind of dumb. Why'd they do that? At this point, someone's gonna die. I'm just not sure. Okay, Rody can handle the soldiers. But just the soldiers. I need Ryan out of the way. Okay. I can have Cecile in range of at least the one. Uh, what's your range? Six. One, two, three, four. So, you can reach all the way to Mark. Um. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead. This. can actually handle the soldiers. He has the defense. And the HP. And the exact amount of strength. to take out soldiers, so that's nice. Uh, it's a good thing I set Marth there. Because he has the speed to... Uh, yeah, he currently has the speed to not get doubled. So that helps. Right now, I re I have no clue who can talk to Astrum, and that's going to be a problem. I don't know what to do on Astrum here. I know Marth can't talk to him. I already know that. If you attack... 30, defense of 11. 19. And I don't double. Alright. If I want to make this work... Gonna try and try this. Thanks, Marth. Uh, you gotta time it so you parry before they swing. You got skill, luck, defense, and HP. Uh, if you parry them too late, their attack animation still happens, so you get hit with that. But at the same time, they got caught with your parry animation. You don't stagger, though, so you can at least still do a crit attack. That just kind of seems like... I don't know if it's bad programming, but it just doesn't sound right. That you... You got the parry off, but yet they still hit you. Or does it mean you just need to get, like, exact timing? Okay, seriously, can anyone talk to Astrum? Anyone? Not even Sheeta. 
I don't know what I'm supposed to do with Astra. Oh, you can't reach. I have... What am I supposed to do? Julian, can you make it? No. I... Mm, I actually have no clue who needs to talk to Astrum. I, I don't know what to do. Got the armor slayer. It has to be exact timing. There are shields and daggers that are solely for parrying. Now, the parry animation lasts a little bit longer, but most of the time you gotta just time it right. Okay, so it literally just sounds like, get good. That's all it is. 30. Okay, you can do this. Okay. And again... Magma can't... Oh, what the hell? Attack 31. That's 12. Yeah. I am just gonna wait. I am going to wait. I want to summon my units a little bit closer. Most of my units were able to get close and they can't talk. The seal needs to be closer. And I doubt it's Rody. also has three phases. Uh, when the boss loses all his HP and then round two starts. Just got three of those. I call it three phases. I still call it three phases. Because it's the same boss fight, but after you reach a certain point, uh, you still gotta continue the fight, but there's a new strategy. Or if you... Or you can go with, uh, three forms. I don't know. Uh, actually, here's a question. If you lose in phase two, do you have to redo phase one? Because that might also be a factor. Okay. Start from the beginning if you lose at any phase. Yeah, I just call it phases. Strength, speed, and HP. Go, Rhodey. Go, Rhodey. We got this. range of the mage currently. Oh, that thief's running away. They literally steal one item and then run away. You foul traitors taste the might of my mercurious sword. So he doesn't say anything specific. First phase is bad, you can parry her or backstab her since she does a lot of attacks that require her to charge. Oh, okay. Is it phase two or phase three? That's the worst. No. No. And. 
Okay, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Unless it's Fina. I actually have no clue what to do. Um... Speed ring? You probably got gold. A shaver. I mean... Uh, what do you do with Astro? I, I know this is a case where he should be recruitable. And this is probably the chapter. Do we need to leave him alive? Or is there a unit I did not bring with me? I am actually looking this up. Second phase is the painter joining her. You can attack either one since they share the HP. That's weird. If you attack her, she doesn't counter you often, and she easily staggers. If you attack the painter, her often attacks you, but you deal more damage to him than you do to her. So, you deal more damage if you attack the painter. So it's better to attack the painter, in terms of damage. What? Okay, so I have the chapter pulled up. I don't know yet. I haven't looked up about Astrum just yet. So far, as far as I'm aware, none of my units are able to talk to him. But there is a way we can potentially figure it out. First of all, I'm just gonna... Fogman here. Uh, I already know some of my units can't do this anyway. This is going to be a little weird. Because I am not going to be keeping this. I already know that. I already know I'm not keeping this. Unless it's Fina or Rhodey. A strength boost. It is not Fina. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna let you get rid of the mage for now. Uh, third, third phase, the painter speaks about fire. She revives for the final time, and this time she does fire and dark damage, as well as attacking you rather than charging, like the first phase. You can still stagger her, but she has more HP than the first and second phase. So she just adds more attacks to her arsenal. Basically. The other option is... Brody. the other option that I have. Nope, it's not Rhodey. Well, uh, I don't know. Like, I, I, I actually have no clue what I am supposed to do. Again, I'm gonna double check. It is not Marth. There is no talk option. There is no talk option for Marth. So, what do you do? How do you recruit him? What do you think, Hot Corn Dog? I have the chapter pulled up. Do I actually 
do I actually look up how to get him? Actually, for achievement, I do need to recruit him. I normally don't, for a blind playthrough, I normally don't want to look up stuff like this. But... If I am able to recruit him, I currently do not have the means to. Well, that answers that. Rhodey, you're too strong. You got you were too good. Strength speed weapon resistance. Mercurius sword. Medea. Yeah. But I don't have Medea. Hold on, I'm looking this up. I have it here. I have to reset anyway. I... I called this. I said this. Okay. I... Okay. Do I count this as a death? I mean, it was Astrum that died even though he wasn't on my team. But it was a death that that's causing me to reset. I'll let you be the judge, hot corn dog. Do I reset? But I made the suggestion. I made the suggestion of... Let's bench. The seal. Of George. I made that suggestion. Because the reasoning is George and uh, Astrum worked on the same team as generals. Don't count it. He ate what he wasn't one of mine. Okay. It we need George to talk to him. And I even mentioned this as a suggestion. So... Here's a test run. Uh, we're gonna do a quick test run. It'll probably, I'll probably reset anyway, but... Let's warp George. Here's the thing I'm checking. If I recruit Astro, does the rest of the unit join me as, like, green units? Although there hasn't really been any green units. Or is it just Astro? Unless, unless the pants we did count people who were recruitable as this. I don't remember, so... Astro, how are you doing? So it's the traitor, George. What do you want with me? Wait, Astrum, General Abel has already fallen. You won't be able to win even if you continue fighting. That is true. You want me to surrender? Never! Even if I am the last one standing, I am a warrior of Arcanea to the end. Why are you... Who are you fighting for? Are you fighting for Emperor Hardin? No, it's not because of that man because of Nina, and for Arcanea. But did Nina tell you to fight here? Do you really think that Nina would hope for this kind of battle? Well, I haven't seen Nina for a while. I was told that she fell ill, and that I couldn't see her. But since Harden is Emperor of Arcanea, I have no choice. If I don't follow his orders, I will become a traitor, and I will be betraying Nina. Astro, Nina already entrusted the emblem to Prince Mark. Do you understand the meaning of her actions? W what? When did this happen? George, Nina requested Prince Mark for help? I believe that is the only e explanation. Astro, if you want to find out the truth, then come with us. If you die here, that, that will... What will Medea do? You must live on for her. You must live on, so you can confirm with your eyes what is happening. I guess I have no choice. But George, if 
This war is, a, is as Hardin said, and was caused by Prince Mars' ambitions. I will never forgive you. Remember that. Well, there's Astrum. But as we can see, all the other heroes, uh... All the other heroes are, uh... Gonna go after George. There's an NPC you can summon without having to use any miracles or embers. Normally, you use those to summon people, but he's there for free. He appears in phase two, though. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna let the turn play out. I think it's only fair. I already know George is gonna die. I think it will be fair to let it play out. Instead of just resetting before it happens, because we already know. We already know. There it is. Okay. I had no way to save him at this point. I mostly did that just to figure out if this was the case, what would happen, would the other units like be green units, but now that I'm thinking about it, <coughs> there haven't been any green units <coughs> in this game. So now that I know, Now that I know I need to work George specifically, or have George talk to him, we could definitely make this work. Uh, one thing I want to do is I want to have Sheeta go ahead and... Uh, I want to take the Levin Sword and swap it out with... Let's just swap it out with Iron. There we go. I want Sheeta with the uh, Levin Sword. And no Cecile, so the training will go to Rhodey instead. Okay. So if I want the Geosphere, like right now, just to make sure, let's go ahead and dance. There's that. There we go. So we got the Geosphere. Oh, wait, no, we don't have the Geosphere. Not yet. Uh, I guess we'll get that later. I'm gonna have Marth go ahead and do this. Go up here. I kinda wish the authority system from 5 was in here, just to let, uh, give Ryan a better chance to dodge. We're gonna do a similar setup. I think... I still want Ryan here. Yeah, we'll do that. Granted, the only way he lived... The only way was due to... Okay, we'll have the iron up. But the only way he did live was from... Uh... Sorry. Dodging one, one L fire. So we gotta hope for that. Apparently we're gonna trade the Master Sword over. Trade it there. So I currently want Warren over here. I want Sheeta this way. We're gonna have Julian head north. Rody can probably go around here, actually. Well, I don't know. That might be too close to a mage. George needs to stay close. Sheeta stays around here. Uh, I'm gonna have Lind and Marth head up here. 
if one person can block this spot, then the thieves can't escape. I think we'll do that. The NPC is the one who asked you to save the painter girl. Let her see fire. That's why he helps you in the fight. It kind of sucks, though, since he can only heal once, and he isn't as aggressive as you are. So, it's, it's still mostly something you have to do on your own, more or less. It's just that you may get some assistance, but you shouldn't bet on it. Got a little unlucky on this end. What is my accuracy? It says 100. 81, okay. Well, it is what it is. Now to have her head back. We got the Geosphere. That's really important. So if I, if I'm correct, the thieves are trying to get like on this square right here. Okay. I want Lind up here. I want Agma right here. And because Agma's right there, I want Warren here. I want Sheeta here. We are going to equip the Levin Sword. Far close by. Actually, I don't really mind having them. Julian, you go up here. Um, I think I'll have Mark down here to potentially help out. Ryan, you stay here. George, you need to stay close by. Melissa is going to be a little while, so I want Tina back up here. You know what? I don't want him in range of any mages. I have Ogma with the iron to feed EXP to Warren and Sheeta. Even though I could have the steel and just get a bunch of kills. And geez, War, uh, Ogma still has a 30% chance to crit. You see that? That's ridiculous. And that's without the Master Sword. is can Ryan dodge a single mage? Or just a single attack, actually. That's all I need. One attack. One attack, Ryan. Just one attack. That's not a good sign. But yeah, it, so it sounds like the assistance is barely helpful, but it can help you, but you shouldn't rely on it, Hotcorn Dog. It still sounds like you just need to get good. Okay, good, we dodged. We dodged a single L fire. That is all we needed. Unless, unless a crit happens, but I don't know if the sniper can crit me. I know the mages can't. A lot of mages are using L fire now. I don't remember if they were doing that in book one at this point. So resistance would be way more useful. Okay, this guy still has a chance to crit. So there's still that risk. There we go. Level two, defense and HP. 
I'll take it. So it's interesting that these thieves uh, take one item and then they try to leave. They don't try to take every item. Okay, let's see. If I attack with the silver, an attack of 29 minus 10, we can one hit KO. Good. Level 18, strength, weapon level, and HP. Sheeta, with the Levin Sword, an attack of 7, not enough to get a KO. Mm. No, it was worth a shot. But I guess what I could do is I can dance. something. Okay. Brian needs to back out. Astrum's here. We got a little bit of time. Agma's fine. I want... I want Rody to get a lot of this. So... Let's get George down here. Okay, um, Rody was able to deal a lot of this, but deal with these three guys on his own, so I wanted to get the XP. can handle these two. He's still far away from the mage. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and set Fina here. I was going to have Fina dance Sheeta to guarantee the kill, but we got a crit, so it's not needed. That Ogma could just stay where he's at. Julian and Lind. And you need to head back. Alright. Let's see how this goes. I know Rhodey's gonna need a healing, but since Melissa's still too far away, we might have to have Navarre take over. Go Rhodey for the crit! XP away. Yeah, Rody can't handle it. Go Agma and a crit. You know what? I'll, I'll let. I will allow Agma a few crits. It's fine. Clear out some of the herd. luck and HP. Just leave some for Sheeta and Warren. There we go. Perfect. At this point, I want Warren... Well, I want Warren to get to level 20, but he can't promote this chapter. For the achievement's sakes, we can't actually have him do it. Of course, Akma gets the crown on the second one. may get close enough, we may be able to get 
Uh, not Julia. George. Up to him. We'll see. Level 5. We got a little bit of luck. Agma will get attacked by Eleven Sword. I know that. Wait, does he have the HP? Well, he dodged. It doesn't matter. Actually, he does. He has like four resistance, so he would have been fine. Okay. Astrum is already kind of close enough to talk to. Oh, no, that's right. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, George is in range of Astra. And George can survive. Uh, George is able to survive an uh, attack from one character. So first, I'm going to go ahead and let Warren grab this kill. to grab this one. We got a crit. Okay. Next. I think it'll be best for Ogma to go ahead and just get rid of this guy. That'll be for the best. With the crit, that works too. Agma needs healing now. Okay. George, go ahead and talk. We have Astrum now. Maybe I should boost the text up to, like, one at the fastest. The reason why I had it, I didn't put it at one is because I wasn't sure how the speed was. And also, part of me was used to, like, some of the Dragon Quest ta text speeds in, like, the remakes in, like, Super Nintendo or the Switch versions. Where, if you have it on one, you, like, you don't have enough time to read what's actually happening. Now we have Astra. I could have Marth in range. Have Marth attack. Marth will be fine. There we go. And George will survive. He has 10 defense. He will survive a single fight. Alright. Over here. Rhodey needs to get out of range. I can get him right here and then do it. out of range. Brody's out of range. Brody's out of range. Let's keep everyone else nearby. Oh, I could have danced George. And then put Navarre there. Oh, that, that would have been better. Well, I'll go ahead and dance Warren and have him fight.
we'll go ahead and do that. Tech speed, yeah, no matter what, I can't double. So, 30 minus 11, 19. I basically would need to hope for a crit. Might as well. Is it crit? Is it crit time? It is crit time. Go Warren. Level 19. Strength. Weapon level. HP. Warren. Now you need a couple more kills. Like, probably two more. And we can get you to level 20. Alright. Uh, I guess I'll bring Astrum up here. Part one is kind of done. Now it's that section on the right. Okay, the mage is going to be the toughest thing here. The thief did not attack me. He's trying to steal. I can give these to Warren. Yeah, you know what? I will do that. Okay, over here. I already know that... I already know that Rhodey can handle three of these guys. But I need someone to get rid of the mage. So I'm gonna go ahead and... Have Navar get rid of a mage. That works. 50% chance to crit. That's a little ridiculous. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and let Rhodey fight this one. Seventeen strength, speed, weapon level, and HP. We are going to dance, Brody. Come on. Okay. And we have Brody fight this one. Perfect. I like the idea of the dodge going straight to a crit. It just makes it seem like you dodge, and the character's like, you left yourself wide open for a weak point sort of thing. Alright. I really hope this guy moves. Okay, I need to heal Ryan. I'm just going to set him over here. 14 plus 10, 24. Perfect. That's exact HP. Perfect. Full health. Exactly. Level 9, skill unlock. Okay. I'm hoping for more strength. Oh well. Okay. He's either going to go after Navar or Rhodey. I am not sure. He go to either one of them. So. You have Swarm. And you have Swarm. Five, six, seven, ten. Whoever stands here is in range of this sniper. And also in range of the swarms. So because of that, I think I just gotta... Okay, wait a minute. What is your 
Swarm is weaker than I keep thinking it is. It's attack of 12. So, 8, 16 damage. Twenty-four. Ryan, because of that HP boost, has the exact amount of HP to survive these three. However, meteor. I'm assuming that's a ranged one. Three, four, five, six, seven, ten. He would have to dodge. Yeah, we'd have to dodge more. Hmm. What to do? It's not necessarily Swarm that I'm worried about. It's more the combination of everything. And I just have to be able to dodge. You know? I don't think I can really do that. So what can we do? I think I have an idea. I just remembered something we have. Not physic. Barrier. Magic defense by seven. That can go here. We could put probably hammer and storage at the moment or just swap. And if I put Ryan here, we could set barrier on him. And if we set barrier on him, He'll have 11 resistance, I think. So, one damage, one damage, eight. Yeah, that will, that will work. That's a strategy. That is a strategy. Hogman's gonna need healing soon. George and Astrum are just kinda hanging out. Okay, you're going after Navarre. These are just going to try to escape. They're not going to attack. Or is it because they can't deal damage? Defense of 12. Uh, that could be the reason. Could be because they can't actually deal any damage. Alright, with the iron and attack of 24. Yeah, we could just use the iron. Alright, Warren, get rid of these thieves. Get some extra EXP. Speed ring. He only needs one more kill. So I think I'll let... I'll let Sheeta go ahead and grab it. It's fine. I'll go ahead and let Sheeta head up there. Warren can get can level up in one more kill. We'll let you to have the other one for extra XP there to level 17. Okay, over here. So again, I want Rody here. Can't make it there yet. I don't want him to get too close. Well, not Rody. I want him to be Again, right here. I can set Ryan right here, and he is safe. If I were to go here, oh wait, I'll just let Mark trade everything over. We want to trade Hammer currently. All right, with the barrier, no, not trade. Stab. 
temporarily increases an ally's magic defense by seven. I can set that up next round when Ryan's ready to go here. So at the moment, I am going to set Alpha right there. Let's go ahead and heal. Wait. Sorry. Like, I could, I could heal like 24. And it'll be close enough. I could use a mend. Give him a full health, but I think he'll be fine. <coughs> Alright. I think I'll just leave Navarre where he's at. George and Astrum can hang out. And everyone else stays behind. Here's what I am hoping. Let's go ahead and barrier Ryan. It says temporary, so I don't know how long that lasts. I also don't know if it works like a pure water. I just realized we have the silence staff too. Could we silence the boss? Also, if we silence the boss, how long would that last? Right here. Okay. Make sure the killer is equipped. Alright, Ryan, you currently have 11 resistance. Currently. have a silent staff, so I can maybe use that. Just, just attack with the steel sword. Cheetah, you need like one more point of strength or something. Mm -hmm. One more point. Alright, level 17. Strength, skill, and speed. And HP. And we got a bunch of gold. Well, she got that strength boost. And Warren with a crit has made it to level 20. Skill and HP. And there was the shaver, that's right. So, let's put that storage. Lind can start heading back to the rest of the group. Julian is going to the treasure the treasures. Warren's gonna hold off on promoting until next till the next time we get to a spot where uh, we're outside. And we're mounted. <laughs> it's time for me to show you the destructive power of my meteor magic. 65 accuracy. I dodged. The resistance wasn't needed. Swarm, 31 accuracy. There's a good chance I would dodge swarms, but I didn't want to take that chance, honestly. You, you, you know, worst case scenario, everything hits you. Oh my god. Ryan! You got hit by a crit! Why'd you do that? Oh, now you... Okay. Um... That was a close call. For some reason, this other guy with Swarm did not attack me. 
We lucked out there. The unlucky part is Ryan got hit by crit, but he's survived with one HP because of those dodges. If Ryan did not dodge a single hit, he would be dead. But because he did dodge, we lucked out. And if you notice, he has a resistance of 10, so it works like a pure water. I could send him up. Can't hit anyone, but I can send him up. Or I could try to let Navar have some of these kills. Or Rody. I think I think Ryan should step back. Honestly, I was worried more with with the sniper and hand as well, but honestly with So attack a 19, attack a 12. 11, 11. So it was right here. Two, three, four, five, six. This is the range for Meteor. Right here is safe. Okay. I mean, I could warp him. I could just warp him to the boss. That is an idea. Sadly, Fina wouldn't be able to help. Hmm. That's why Julian stuck going to the treasure. Again, Warren will not promote until the next time we're outside of her castle map. I'm just gonna let Fina start moving. Lind, you head down here. George and Astroman, just chilling. I kind of want Navarre to get these kills. I could warp him, and he'd be completely safe. He would be completely safe if I warp him. Or I could... So if I boost up his resistance, it would be a plus seven? The eight. Four, eight, eleven, nineteen damage in total. It would be nineteen damage in total. I got an idea. All right. I wouldn't mind Navarra getting the kills. And the question. And the question is, do I want to use up a warp stack? How many do I have? I have five uses of warp. We're on chapter 16. Uh, let's try to save the warp staff. Anyway, treasure chest. We got a dragon's whip. If I was using Est or something. Okay, that's a spare. The other option is to get... Oh, I could get my mages in range. A little bit. Alright. Actually, you know what I could do? Wow. She can actually get close, but I, I want to give the KOs to Navar. Uh, I am currently going to have Navar go here. He would be able to survive. We are going to go here. We are going to set up barrier on Navar. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and let... Brody right here. I'll let Agma right here. No. Agma right here. Yeah, you gotta stay back. Well, 
Well, Warren's done, so I'll just keep him with the other group. I'm doing this because maybe the guys with Swarm will get distracted and not target, target Navarre. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. Congrats. Who's left? All right. No one attacked. No one attacked. That's surprising. All right, Navarre, do your thing. Let's start with getting rid of one guy with Swarm. One down. Level 19. Luck, defense, and HP. I'm going to let him have all of that. Well, maybe not all of that. We got a secret book. Maybe I'll let... Um, I'll probably let Rhodey have the... The two healers. But right now, I'm gonna go ahead and heal Ryan. He needs it. Good, she's a better healer. She can fully heal Ryan. I mean, she already kind of does. I think I'll just leave everyone else where they are. Yeah. Yeah, I knew someone would try to attack. But, you know, we dodged anyway. I don't know why sometimes they attack, but sometimes they don't. Okay, go ahead and get rid of the other guy with Swarm. Okay. So I am hoping Navar will get the kill on the boss and get the EXP from it. Right here. chest. A goddess icon. Okay. One more chest to go after that. Uh, let's go ahead and let Navarre fight. Okay, Navarre, you got this. Okay, attack of 27 defenses. So 21, I double. Yeah. He's got no chance. Wow, he didn't even get a crit. Navarre didn't get the crit. Interesting. And Navarre is now level 20. Strength, luck, HP. And we got the recover staff. Edgar Harden, forgive me. Well, Navarre is currently maxed out. I'm gonna let Rhodey get the EXP on the others. Over here, we have a Knight's Crest. There we go. I'm, I was missing one. Alright. Can I dance? Yes, I can dance, Ruby. Alright. 
Brody? Go ahead and get some EXP. And you know what? We could stand on the throne and get some health back that way, because why not? It's not going to hurt anything. And I don't think it's much EXP because they can't fight back. Oh no, it's still 40. Level 18. Strength, speed, HP. We got the physic. All right. I'm still gonna give the other kill to Rhodey. But as far as I can tell, that's it. All the chests are opened. We have the Geosphere. We killed all the thieves. There is no secret shop. No reinforcements, surprisingly. Yeah, no reinforcements. Kind of interesting. You'd think there would be. Alright. That's the last KO. We got the Fortify Staff. I'm going to let Navar promote right now. Become the hero you were meant to be! And strength, defense by two, resistance by three. That's, that's some good stats, Navar. Alright, um... Let me go ahead and throw the barrier in the supply. If I check the bottom, what do we got? Check my shaver. Uh, Armor Slayer. The Geosphere, which looks like it needs to be repaired, but we do have it. I think we're good. And let's dance. And now Marth can seize the throne. It's Marth. The enemies in this castle have been vanquished. Altia is finally in our hands again. Really? That's great. But I still don't see my sister. Your Highness, Princess Elise was taken by Garnet. Huh? Goto, is that true? He ordered his dark priests to search for the clerics of noble birth. Lena, Maria... Even your sister, Elise, they have all been taken by Garnet. Hmm, so that's what's going on. Is that so? But what is he planning to do by, by undoing by capturing them? That I don't know. But I bet it's not anything good. The chain of events so far was all doing all the doing of Garnet. Goto, where is he now? I don't know. But I bet Garnet's next target will be Princess Nina. So he's probably at Palis. I see. We'll go to Palis. I'll rescue Hardin from his Dark Sphere influence. Or from the Dark Sphere influence. I will defeat Garnet and use the and the Dark Priest, and I will rescue the captured Colerics. There we go. We finished chapter 16. Let's move on to 17. Uh, I feel like after what chapter nine, the we've been kind of snow not snowballing, but we've been doing a lot better getting through these chapters. Probably because we now have a lot of the tools to actually just get through these. <clears throat> Marth and the others once again moved out from Altea and headed towards the imperial capital of Paris. But along their way, they passed through the kingdom of Ra, the, a land allied to Arcanea. In the previous war, Gra sided with the Delunian Empire which resulted in their king, Geo, dying in battle, and the destruction of the kingdom. The country was once a part of Altea, but they sided with the Arcanea, with Arcanea after listening to Hardin's orders. Hardin found King Geo's daughter, Princess Shima, and allowed her to ascend the throne. And then 
and he then ordered reinforcements from the ground. Shima received wild support from the citizens of Gra. To them, Shima was their only hope. The youths all volunteered to become soldiers. They were happy to move out and have a chance to defeat their bitter enemy. But their dreams were shattered in an instant. Before the fast approaching Altian elites, Gra's soldiers lost all morale and fled for their lives. Really? Hmm. Did we interact with Gra before? Oh yeah, we've been on this map. Okay, yeah, we've been to Gra. Well then. So first we need to take our normal units. Seal, Catria, and we'll take Tiki. Seems about right. Let me double check my units. Ryan's good. Warren will promote. Sheeta needs training. Uh, you know what? Let's put the... Let's put this Eleven Sword back in. I'll grab the iron that I have. fine for now. Uh, Agma, we could trade the iron back to Navar for the Master Sword. Hold on. There we go. That's a little bit better. Okay. Uh, Navar's fine. That's fine. Brody, you're good. You still need two levels. You currently have a lot of stuff that can storage. Physic and Fortify. You keep the Knight's Crest, you need two levels. Melissa, you're fine. George, you're benched. I don't know why you're here. Actually, I do know why you were here. We could give the Mercurius Sword to someone else. Uh, if I were to take another unit, who would I take? Um... I... Hmm. Okay, I don't have a full team. I guess I'll take... Uh... I don't think I'll use her. She's just kind of here. Paula's here. I I don't plan on actually using her, but if she can get a couple KOs, then maybe. Because she was useful. She was useful. Okay. Uh, what's my items? Uh, Navarre. Or Julian. Okay. Pause it. Secret book. Goddess icon. We're gonna trade the Knight's Crest over to Seal. Go. We are gonna deposit the Hell Flyers. We don't need that. And you know what? Let's go ahead and grab the, the Firestone. I probably won't use it, but she has it as an option now. I think that's... I think that's good. Alright, let's look through the map. What do we got? Anything important? We need Mark to go over here. That's for sure. cases where we need to take, like, a particular unit with us. Oh, wait. There's Shima. Okay. Didn't someone talk about Shima? Hold on. 
I haven't looked any of this up. I thought some... Do I need to make Santo? I might need to bring Santo. I thought I remember someone talking about Shima. And it might have been Samto. I'm not sure. But that sounds right. Could be serious for all I know. I know someone talked about Samto. Or Shima. Oh, there's Samson! Oh, how do you get him? Do you need to just talk to him with Marth? Okay. Oh, we got a thief here, and he has Nosferatu. Nothing. Okay. Let me check out these guys real quick. Nope, nothing. Obviously, there's going to be more room, more uh, enemies inside these buildings. Oh, there's only one entrance. There's only one entrance to this now. I almost want to warp someone to the thief and get rid of him right now, but there isn't really a good spot. Well, for now... Okay, let's see what happens. Princess Shima, it seems the Ultian army has arrived. Really? It's already the end. Samson, I've brought you much trouble. I need to watch the final days of my kingdom of Gra. We must leave now. Princess, isn't it already enough? Shouldn't you despise King Geo for forcefully taking your mother? Isn't that why you held in Palace and stayed away from this country? By now you're just being tricked by Arden and being used by him. Perhaps. I heard that the people of Gra wish for the res restoration of the country, and that's why I agreed to help them. However, Hardin is only interested in using us. He would just throw us away like rubbish the moment we became useless to him. Still, I will not leave. How can I just abandon those for uh, fighting for my sake? Impossible. How can our flesh, uh, fresh recruits resist Altea's elites? Fine. If you're staying, I will also stay to the end. This could be interesting. Simpson, why are you doing this? Aren't you... Aren't you mercenaries only interested in being paid in, with gold? I no longer have money to give you. I don't know why either. It's just sometimes men feel like they're feel like there's there are there are things that they must do. Although I want to see how that kid fights this battle. If he truly is a hero, perhaps your mind may be changed. Okay, they're both inside. Mind. Okay, I can't just warp over to Shima. I don't know how to recruit her. Right now, I don't have anything pulled up, and I'm not going to look right now. So, at the moment... Okay, Warren needs to class change. Sheeta needs to fight. I'm going to let Sheeta go ahead and fight this guy. Attack a 16. Attack is 19? Attack of 23? 13? No, not enough. So this one needs to be weakened. Um, if I were to weaken, can I use Cecile? Yeah, I can use Cecile. Alright, let's just go with the steel. Go with the strongest move I have. Or get a crit. That works too. Part of the plan. Alright. Mark, you go right ahead and start heading this way. Okay, what is your approach? Yeah. Okay, Marth, you start heading to the village. Sheeta will also start fighting these Draco uh Draco Knights. Stand 
right here. Let's equip the silver. I'm gonna go ahead and let Tiki transform. Oh, I'm sorry, it's Cheeky only, not Tiki. You know, so that's what the text of the the, the Dr Divine Dragonstone said. It was Tiki. It was Cheeky only. So I could open the drawbridge right now. Get someone standing there. I can have Rody get in range. It's not the worst idea. Brody, let's have you get in range right now. Let's equip. Yeah, let's equip this here. Warren. Time to promote. I forgot you have a speed ring at the moment. And we got the actual achievement this time. There we go. Skill, defense by two, and three movement. It's nine. Perfect. Okay. I'm gonna let Rhodey have this. So I'm gonna let Santo just visit these villages right now. The soldiers here are all foreigners. There's nobody else to protect this country because the knights of this country all died. Right now, the actions of the Arcanian soldiers are deplorable. They're just the same as thieves. Those low lives. Some extra lore. Um, I'll go ahead and let Agma visit this village. Harden sent troops here to prevent Grav from rebelling. The Arcanian soldiers are the only ones that can still fight. So all these guys are Arcanian. Well, you're Grav. Some of these guys are Grav. But I don't... There is no way this is a case where we're supposed to leave the Grav soldiers alone, right? Oh my... Are we supposed to just leave the Grav soldiers alone? And just only take down the Arcanaean ones? Oh my god. That's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to leave the... Graw ones alone. Oh, it's, that's actually true. That is... That is mean. That is very mean. Let's let Katria go visit this other village. Princess Shima is the child of King Geo's second wife. But she's different from the king. She's a very kind person. What's going on here? I can't tell what's going on. Okay, sorry. Uh, she's a very kind person. The princess is prepared to sacrifice her life for her soldiers. Is there no way to save her? So they're saying Shima is recruitable. And I already know she is. Uh... I think Samson's a case of we recruit Shima, we get Samson at the same time. I'm assuming. She was talking about let's see what type of hero you are. I think this is a case where we're supposed to leave the Grass soldiers alone. I think the Dragoons are part of Arcanea. Some of these skills are super easy. Oh, this really depends on how uh, some units. Let's just end turn. And we'll see how everyone moves. That's the Arcanaean soldier. Yeah, 
thief is moving... Huh? Where's the thief moving? Well, I can have Katria go to the right. Two crits, that works. Okay. The Gras soldiers did not move. Yeah, stream relax Rabs did rig that battle. They, they usually do. Sadly, I... Uh, not much I can really do to get rid of it. But, uh... Hot Corn Dog. I think to recruit Shima, we have to leave the Gras soldiers alone. Because this one moved. Gra did not. I think we need to leave Gra alone. Because Shima was basically saying, let's see what type of hero you are, Mark. That, to me tells me that we need to leave the ones that can't really fight. Let them be. Sadly, there's no way to really tell without just checking each one like this. That's the annoying part. Okay, Tiki. If you were to attack with Mist Breath, I'm assuming that's what I actually need to do. Okay, Sheeta. Let's get you another kill, please. Can you crit? Nope. And we give the KO to Cecile. Steal attack of 23. Attack of 14. Yeah, I could do it. Attack of 25. Yeah, Cecile could grab this KO. But yeah, right now, it sounds like if we want to recruit Shima, we need to leave Gra alone. That's what it sounds like. If that's actually how to recruit Shima, this is... I can see why this would be tricky. Martha needs to head this way. Um, can Rody get the KO? Like restrictions, true part of Fire Emblem DNA. If that is actually the way to recruit her, this is actually an interesting challenge. Because there's a trade-off here, right? There, there would be a trade-off. So, if you leave all of these Gra units who are easy kills alone, you get two more party members that you may need. But, there's a lot of units here. Uh, like, these guys. That's extra EXP you could get. So, I guess it's more of like, you're asking yourself, do you want EXP, or do you want two new units? Where's this thief going? You know what, he's probably just gonna try to run away with Nosferatu, like he already stole it, or he's trying to get in here. I can warp someone. I can warp someone. Lind heal. That will work. 
And the game didn't necessarily outright tell it, tell you for sure that that's what you need to do, but they obviously hinted at it. That's some HP. Okay. I'm gonna have Katria go to the right. Yeah, you're going over here. Do with these. All right. Uh, I thought I needed to bring Samto. That doesn't seem to be the case, as far as I'm aware. Uh, I will go ahead and warp... First of all, I'm gonna set you here. Fema's too far away. Dang. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and warp. We're gonna warp Navarre to the thief. Because so far, Gra's units have not targeted me. They have not run up to me. Alright, go ahead and grab this KO. Just get rid of the thief. Okay, we got Nosferatu, which I barely used. It's not limited. I could give that one to uh, Melissa. I think I really want to try to give these KOs to like Rhodey or Sheeta or Cecile. No other enemies over here. Martha's going to be the only one going that way. Uh, Julian should just wait around. Horn's fine. Well, I can put the speed in the storage. Katria's gonna have to deal with the dragons. Okay. Yeah, Draw's not moving. That tells me we just ignore him. Warren, you could just, like, hang out nearby. Uh, Arcanea, I want Rhodey in range. Right here. I'm gonna get Sheeta close because I'm gonna. Sheeta, Rhodey, and Cecile need the most training. Everyone else, I don't really care. And Santos just. Santos just here. He's here. Uh, Tiki, you go right ahead and start heading towards to help out Katria. Might as well dance. It's not gonna hurt anything. Level 13, skill, speed, luck, weapon level, and HP. Let's see if you fly over here. Okay. If Katria attacks, we are talking. Let's just say the silver. Attack a 34. Attack a 20. I attack twice. These guys have an attack of 25. Yeah, 25 minus 15. That is 10. 10 damage. Can I get... I can get the KO. Yeah. 
Katri is fine. She's safe. There we go. Get that crit. And Katria has this taken care of. One of them may go after Tiki, for all I know. Both may go after Tiki. Either way, they're, they're we're fine on that end. Uh, I think I might just take this map a little bit slowly. Because I'm basically just trying to train three units. Weapon level, resistance, and HP. Okay, now to heal him. Ah, you're going out to Tiki. Interesting choice. Well, it wasn't going to go well no matter which way we went. To Tiki, I don't know why. There we go. Wait a minute, I just thought of something. If you recruit Shima, and because, like, she's just like, oh, all of Gra units are uh, saved, you're a hero, I will join you. But all the other Gra units stay around. If you recruit Shima, could you just start getting some more EXP after you recruit her? That'd be mean, but it sounds like you probably could. Okay. You're Arcanaean. We could get someone on the forest tile. Yeah, we could get someone on the forest tile. Uh, however, I do want someone to have this way instead. See, Navar is fine. He's not close to any Arcanaean. He's the only one. Hmm. Well, for right now, let me go ahead and heal. How about we go to the right? So that way we could get Julian to open the door. We'll head this way. And of course, Sheeta stays close by. Cecile also gets close, follows along. Julian needs to follow. Agma's here as a backup. Katria. So unless there's more reinforcements from... Uh, unless there is more reinforcements for Draco Knights, uh, we don't have much here. But I, there's gotta be reinforcements. There's gotta be Draco Knight reinforcements. I just don't know what else would be here. Okay. Honestly, you two can just kind of stay. Uh, Navar. I. I can have Navar go here just in case. Alright, well. And again, Samto is here. Leave me. I already have nothing to give you. Oh, please don't get us wrong. We weren't we aren't here to steal. But didn't you all come here for, from Altia for revenge? 
No, we don't want to fight Gra. Because Gra and Altia were originally like one family. Is that true? Then I'll give you my most important treasure to you. Heart. An angel's robe. Okay. More HP. I'll check the shops. Okay, you're Arcanea. So I can let Rhodey stand right here. I may have to have an archer uh, ready to fight the, the other archer, so I'll bring Ryan. Actually, we could have two, maybe. That might be better. We'll see. trying to escape? I think they're trying to escape. Oh, okay, hold on a minute. Are you Gra? You are Gra. Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and let Navar stand right there. Okay. So, I need to heal you. At this point, I think Rhodey's gonna make it to level 20. Okay. So, I am worried about this guy. So, I just need someone right here. With a killer... What if I have the Iron Equipment? An attack of 26, an attack speed of 15. Okay, an attack of 26, 16. I double. I am just going to double. Okay, if I have Rhodey right here. One, two, three, four. Seven. Okay. Um, attack of 25. Attack speed of 9. Attack of 25, defense of 10. So 15. Oh, Rhodey just doubles. Okay, never mind. That changes things. This changes. Oh. Uh. Attack 23. Wait. Attack 23 with the silver. 23 minus 10, so 13. Uh, 13. No. Hold on, did I do my math right? 25 minus 10 is 15. Oh, I need one more point in strength. I need a single point in strength to make it work. So, what I could do is I could let Brody weaken. And then we can give the KO to... Actually, no. Hold on. I could let Cecile weaken. I could let Cecile weaken him. And then give the KO to... Uh... Rumi. Rashida. There. 
that'll work out fine. Uh, Marth? Let's check the shops real quick. Okay, what do we got? Vulnerary store keys, mend, thunder, blizzard, hellfire, now I'm good. I don't think I need any of that. In the weapon shop, what do we got? Silver Sword, Javelin, Slim Lance, Silver, uh, Silver Lance, Killer and Silver Bow. I, I think we're good. I think Marth can head back. I think Marth can start heading back. Alright, um... Yeah, we'll let, we'll let Gra, uh, Gra escape. I guess that's what we need to do. We need to let them leave. Assuming that's what's happening. Because down here... Yeah. We need, like, one more square. I can let Cecile go here and weaken. Let's just use the steel and just do what we can. Or, you know, she gets the crit. I'll let her have it. It's fine. Level 16, skill, lock, weapon level. Yeah, she can have it. Okay. Uh, in that case... Julian, start moving. Oh, Rody and uh, Sheeta close. Because I don't know what's behind that door. It could just be treasure. But it could be... There could be Arcanea enemies in there. I'll say this, though. If the thief that I killed with Navar, the one with Nosferatu, if all he's doing is trying to run away, I don't need... I, I can let... I'll let him run away. I don't need Nosferatu. Um, we'll let Ryan go over here. Everyone else, I think, should just hang back. Because we are now trying to get rid of that guy. Yeah, we're gonna start looking for you. Although, this guy is currently just hiding in the corner. Maybe they won't run away, they're just trying to get out of our way. Did I move Marth? No, I didn't. Okay, yeah, okay, these guys are just trying to get in a corner. They're just getting out of our way. I'll look at that. Alright. Julian, open the door. What do we got? We have a single Arcanaean archer. We have a single Arcanaean Archer. Julian's in danger. But because that's inside a building, I can't get in. So... Julian, you back out. Wait, there's... One of the chests has been opened. Was that the Nosferatu? This might have been Nosferatu. So I need to figure out what that is. Uh... Can you actually... No, it's actually not a good idea. So... Okay, this is good. Attack speed of 4, attack speed of 9. Alright. I need you to stand here. You need to dismount. And just wait. 
bottles just in case. Uh, I should send down my healer. Alright. I know I need Mark to fight, but honestly, he's a good fighter. I don't need him to get exp. exp. I kind of want to give it to my other units. Oh, now he's trapping himself in a corner. That's stupid. You fool! A better heal. A better heal, Rody. Rody's got this. Okay. Oh, you poor fool. You went to the wrong corner. I'm just gonna top him off. Okay. Rody! Start working! And we got the crit. Like, one more kill and he levels up. Or two more non-kills and he levels up. Alright, Julian's going down there. I might as well let... Uh, I might as well dance Rody. And we can send the other group back up to... Up and around to deal with the other Archimedean guys. Once Julian opens this chest, Julian's gonna have to run up to one of these doors, probably the upper one. Alright. Since Rody is so close, we'll let him fight. But if he doesn't kill, I will give the kill to someone else. I'll probably just leave my units as is. I'll send Ryan up. Alright. Yeah, leave Graw alone. No reason to fight. Blocked or blocked him. Okay, we're good. Alright, uh, Julian. Wait, he just needs two more? One, two, no, three more. We can dance him. And get the treasure right now. Another Dragon Whip! That's enough for all of your Pegasus Flyers. I didn't buy another one. That's enough for Paula, S, Katria, and Shia. Huh. They just naturally give you a full set. You know, if you're good enough. Interesting. Are you Arcanea? No, you're Grom. Arcanea, and then we can go through the door. So far, no reinforcements. It's a good sign, I guess. Julian, back here. We'll dance. That way Julian gets moving. And I didn't actually need to warp. I didn't really need those for all two. But we got it anyway. Okay, 
So, for this Arcanaean... We want to stand right here, basically. And I want Brody to be the one to fight. Or at least lure him over. just have Rhodey go into the forest now, right? Yeah, we could do that. That would be better. Uh, attack of 25. 11. 14. 20. Okay, yeah. If he doesn't get the crit, he can, uh... If he doesn't get the crit... We could just go. We could go ahead and give the kill to someone else. Just like this. And then the bar to get moving. Julian can also get moving. And then Fina. All right. Again, I could be doing a lot more if I wasn't trying to feed EXP to some of my weaker units. Okay. No crit. I'm okay with that. I actually kind of wanted that. Because we can feed the kill to... Cheetah. We'll probably just use the iron. 16. Exact damage. Good. Level 18. Skill, defense, and HP. No attack, but... Look at that. She is capped on everything else, although we should probably have her, like, dismount. Oh, well. Alright, let's go ahead and heal Rhodey. I'm gonna need to bring out another heal staff out of storage. There we go, level 11, defense and HP, we'll take it. We will take that. Once we're forward, we get this guy moving. And we're still out of range of the archer. Cecile. And then I want Mark to move down here. We're going to... First, let's store the angel robe. I should have another heal staff in here. Alright. I almost mashed A. It's a good thing I paid attention. Julian, we, we head this way. Oh, wait, Fina, you need to move. Don't get the crit. Let's see. Good. Level 20. Luck and weapon level. Now Rhodey can promote. Rhodey's now capped. Okay. Your range... Someone could stand right here. Uh, I'll go ahead and let Cecile have it, sure. 
actually with the seat 18. So, yeah, okay, we're good. Okay. Can we surround him? I would like to. We would need a dancer. We, we would need Fina to do it, though. If I can surround him, then it won't matter what his movement is. Uh, I can set Sheeta right here. Let's go ahead and throw motion. We now have our paladin. Strength by two, skill and speed by three, defense by two, resistance by six, mobility by one. There we go. Look at that. His resistance went up by six. You know, I, I think I'm remembering something about promotion with this game, or well, one of these early games. I think there was something about... Uh, the promotion will... Uh, bring you to whatever the base promotion stats are. And if you're above that, it just boosts it by, like, two or something. I don't... Hmm. That's something I would need to look into. dancing. I, I rather surround him right now. So I kind of want my units close. I'm going to start heading this way. Okay. Katria, you head over here. Just going to surround him, but I need to bring Fina closer. We'll just do that for now. Okay. If Sheeta gets one more square forward, we can dance. I don't know if we need to fully surround him, but because I don't want Rhodey to attack anymore, because he will probably just get the kill. Alright. Okay. I'm gonna try to feed it to Sheeta. Although, no, I don't think Cecile would level up anyway. We'll start with Cecile, get some EXP. We attack with the iron. Get 10. Let's just use the steel. She gets the crit, she gets the crit. Okay. It's going to Sheeta. Yeah, I figured if anyone was going to get the 10 EXP, I'd rather have Cecile have it. Yeah, I better go here just in case. Just in case I do something stupid. There we go. Okay. Now I want to try to feed the KOs to Sheeta and Cecile. But we're going to have to prep with going inside here in a second. 
should probably have Marth on the front lines ready to go. I might as well dismount now. As far as I could tell, this is every Arcanaean soldier. Everyone else that's out here is Grog. Got the treasures. Everyone that's here is Gra. If there are more Arcanea, they are inside. Right. So only two of my units are currently uh, unpromoted. Check my units close. We'll open the door next turn. Bar. We get Tiki moving and then we'll end the turn. Okay. Let's open the door. Let's see what's here. Alright. We have Arcanea. We have also we also have another Arcanea. Arcanea. Samson. Shima. Alright. If I wanna this chaos one. This archer. Can attack through the walls. Can attack someone right here. If I have Sheeta attack you right now. Attack of 17. Okay, hold on. If I have Marth. Okay, hold on. Let's have Marth here for a second. Attack of 22. We could probably weaken for Sheeta for this. That works. I don't care. Mar Mar's fine. Sheeta, go ahead. Attack 7. Exact damage. Perfect. Okay, maybe we'll feed her this KO, and that will give her one more level. Alright, Rhodey, you go. Oh, what's your defense? Ten? I may have to dance someone. Okay, if we go here, we use the Steel Sword. Attack at 23. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to dance someone. Just to make sure they're out of range of the archer. A 5% chance to dodge. Are you kidding me? Okay, fine. Be that way. You have a defensive 11. Can we make it in? Okay, yeah, I just wanna see. An attack of 25. Defense of 11. Attack of 25, defense of 11. 14. She can do it. Yes. But I want her to move once we're down. Dance. Of 
course it's a 5% chance to dodge and got it. Fine. Go here. Use the lady sword. Okay, now I dodge. Oh, and there's the crit. Okay, that works. Cecile? Level 17, skill, weapon level, resistance. Hmm. Alright, let me make sure you're up. Let's go ahead and heal Rody. Now it's just the sniper. Which I could have in a bar get in range. I would put off in other case. Uh defense of eleven. One, two. Yeah. We can bring him closer. There we go. That works. I think everyone else can kind of just hang out outside. More or less. Okay, I can't surround him, but this will be close enough. Okay. So... Let's go ahead and attack. Let's just weaken. Oh, wow. One more point in strength and she would have got it. That's fine. It's gonna go to Sheeta. Level 19, skill, speed, and HP. Alright, what is Samson's range? You know what? I'm gonna have Martha stand right here. Because we already know Shima's not gonna move. Samson might. Julian, just open the door, because why not? No one really needed healing? Oh no, it was Navar. Navar needs healing. Nah, why waste blue heal? It's not like I need it. I am double checking every enemy, but every other enemy should be draw. See how this goes. Samson does move. Okay. Oh, good. Uh, I dodged. Martha would have survived. Level 16, skill and HP. So this worked out. I don't know why they're moving. To Shima. You are Princess Shima? It's great to see you're safe. See you safe. I don't view Gra as an enemy. Gra and my country were originally one country. The country may have divided after Anri's death, but we always got, got on well as allies. But in the previous war, I felt deeply, deeply regretful about how thing, things turning out the way they did. About things turning out the way they did. Princess Shima, please allow us to be friends once again. I don't want to fight Gra. Prince Marth, 
Once I heard that you didn't attack my fleeing soldiers, I was really surprised. You truly are the second coming of King Henri. I trust you. Please, treat the citizens of Gra as if they were your citizens. I will hand my whole country to your care, Prince Mark. Don't attack any of them. And then we have Shima talk to Samson. That's great, Shima. Now I can finally leave without worry. Samson, can you not leave? You don't need me anymore. From now on, Prince Marth will protect you. Don't leave. I don't want you to leave. Huh? What? Why do why do keep me? It doesn't seem like you. Fine. If you say you need me, I won't go anywhere else. I'll protect you wherever you may go. Is that fine with you? Yes. We got We got Samson. And we have Shima. So what's stopping me from getting more EXP? Um, I'm looking this up. Is there anything stopping me? I want to know. Okay, Sheena. Talk with Marth without getting any Gross soldiers killed. Then Samson, you talk with Sheena. There is another character to recruit, but that might just be new mystery of the emblem. Let me double check. Yeah, new mystery of the emblem. It was Tomas, one of the characters from the first game. I want to double check. Once any unit sets forts in the eastern corridor, southeastern building, with the feet of three Draco Knights appear over the sea to the right edge of the map. One of them using. Well, that might be new mystery. Southwestern part of three Draco Knights appear over the sea. I that hasn't happened yet, so that might be new mystery. This chapter is not hard. You get two new characters, three new remakes. Sheena and Samson. Blah blah blah. It's best to train her in chapter 18, or at least forge a weapon with high knife, whatever. You get two more. Only kill the Arcanian units and leave the Gra units alive until you recruit Sheena. Uh, you tell the units apart by the weapons, the stats, blah, blah, blah. Arcanian units kill, carry silver as opposed to iron. Gra units are also not aggressive and will not initiate combat. Once you have recruited Sheena to your team. Uh, oh, wait, does the Star Sphere increase your growth rates still? Oh, I should have looked that up. Oh well, I'll worry about it later. Uh, uh, to, to, to increase your growth rates by further. Uh, by allowing her to kill off the draw units. There's no drawback by doing this. She never will level up at least once or twice before the next chapter. This option is no longer possible in the remake, as killing Gras soldiers after Sheena's recruitment in that game will make her and Samson rejoin the enemy. Either of them are holding a light sphere while doing this is lost forever, and defeating Chapter 20's boss will be impossible without restarting the chapter. So it sounds like... In New Mystery of the Emblem, Sheena and Samson cannot actually attack Gras units, even after recruitment. So it sounds like to me, you can start fighting the Gra units and kill them, but you cannot do that in the remake, and as soon as you attack them, Sheena and Samson join the enemy party. But there is nothing stopping me. I'll fully reset if uh, something goes wrong. But it sounds like there isn't an issue here. It's I think they thought about this in for the remake, it sounds like. Okay, hold on. If I attack the 16. Yeah, um. Yeah, we'll just use iron. 
treat them as one of your own. I am treating them as my own, Sheena. Don't you worry about that. Don't worry, Sheena. I am treating them as my own. Just only two units need training. they join you that's it okay oh you thought I was just you thought you were going to live oh no 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 it was just temporary you will not you will not survive through this you see Sheeta and Cecile need some levels I hope you understand. There is no escape. Oh, this is just mean. But apparently you can't do this in the remake. As soon as you attack one of them, or kill one of them, I forget. Uh, it says uh, Sheena and Samson will just join the enemies again. This is just cruel. This is cruel. We are totally taking the time to take advantage of this. I even I even said at the start, what's stopping me? What's stopping me from doing this? Nothing. Nothing stopping me from doing this. Okay, Sheeta. Let's go ahead and give you this kill. She gets a crit for good measure. Just gotta, just gotta, uh, sh uh, show off her skills. Level 20. We got HP. Sheeta is now capped. This is so dumb. But I love it. Alright, Sheeta. Go over here. You're done. Let's use the dragon whip. There we go. Strength by three, defense by four, resistance down by six, and then mobility by by two. Yeah. Well, she has more strength. Cecile, you're the only one that needs training, because I'm not training Samto. Cecile's gonna go on a killing split, killing spree. Oh no. Poor soldiers of Gra, they stood no chance. They thought they were safe once uh, Shima joined our side, but no, their problem was they didn't turn green or blue. That was their fault. If they wanted to live, they should have turned green. But no, they're still red. Skill luck weapon, defense, and HP. But also. Shima doesn't care anymore. So, really, this is Shima's fault. Should try to live harder. I mean, look, Shima clearly doesn't care. So why should I? Why should I care if Shima doesn't? See, we're now getting the victory music or the near victory music. We didn't get that before. If they wanted to live, they really should have, uh, you know, turned 
screen. That would have saved them. They should have actually just escaped. That would have been better for them. No, no, they stuck around. This is all their fault. All they did was hide in the corner. That's not smart. They should have just left. Level 18, speed and luck. Cecile! Like, no! Please! Don't kill me! Too bad. Yeah, they should have been green units. There are many ways they could have avoided this. But they chose not to. And Shima doesn't care. Samson doesn't care. So why should I? Cecile's going up and around. She is currently level 18. I think by the end of this, she's going to get to level 19. She's not going to get to 20. That will be next chapter. Glad they make green units in later games. I agree. I agree. I think that... I th this game clearly doesn't have any green units. So they clearly just didn't think about it. I know green units are in uh, five. Did Engage have green units? I'm pretty sure. What was the first game to have green units? I know five has green units. Because there was that one chapter where we needed to... Uh, made sure the, the eight prisoners talk to the eight generals. And then the generals turn green to recruit one of the characters. I remember that. I don't remember if genealogy had green units, though. Yeah, uh, if I'm correct, uh, Engage should have green units, now that I think about it. Uh, it's like one of the Paralog chapters. Uh, to recruit... Oh, I'm bad at names. What was his name? He was the healer that I liked, that I benched, uh... The, the martial artist healer. Like, early on, like, first parallel. The one that was normal. <laughs> and that's why he stayed on the team. Forget his name, but you must know what I'm talking about. I think that chapter might have had some green units. Either way. Oh, wow. You dealt four damage. That's impressive. Level 19. Strength and speed. You see, this is their fault. This is all their fault. I don't blame me. They should have, you know, turned green. Or actually fled. Or Shima, Shima cares more. You know, that, that this is all, that, this is not my fault. This is not my fault. It, it is not my fault. Or Morph. If this battle continues, it will become meaningless. It will only give more time for Harden. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I guess I made it meaningless. Hmm, I was thinking the same. If we keep heading east, more needless blood, blood will be spilt. So I've decided a different route for us to go. How about we go directly south from Men uh, Menendi and enter Palis from uh, Adria Park, Adria Peak? You want the troops to cross that dangerous, dangerous mountain path? It's too dangerous. I'm already prepared for danger. Besides, we are able to conquer the danger, uh, the dangerous Henri's way, so this should be easy in comparison. That's a fair point. If we can cross it, we can attack the enemy from the rear. Understood. We'll try that. When beat chapter 17. Uh, I have to do some stuff, so I have to call it here. If I didn't have stuff to do, I would have tried a, a, I would have tried chapter 18. But before we call it, let's go through the achievements I did get today. So let's see. 
we got week chapter 16 and 17. Uh, down here we got... That's book one or two, so I already have that. Uh, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. We got Recruit Shima, Recruit Samson in book two. That is different from Recruit Samson in book one. Those are two different ones. Most of them overlap. And we got Promote to Horseman. I did get that one. I think that's it. Yeah, that's what we got today. Anyway. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. Sorry, if you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at Scott 64 Stream Archives. There's a link in the back page. Yeah, tomorrow, on to chapter 18. At this pace, we are currently doing about two chapters per stream at the moment. Uh, I'm not saying we're going to get it done this week, but if not this week, early next week we'll get this done, probably. We'll see. Uh, although, at the end of this, we're going to look through the achievements I have left over and then decide whether or not we want to just get those done or just say, nah, I'll do it on my own time and then move on to the next thing. We'll get there once we finish the game. Anyway, have a good day.